Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1 Consider the following statements about taurine. 1. Taurine is a vitamin produced by the body and is found in many foods. 2. Taurine has long been popular with bodybuilders and athletes who take it as a supplement to try and control their body temperature and reduce muscle fatigue during competition. 3. It is a major constituent of bile and can be found in the small intestine and accounts for up to 0.1% of total human body weight. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only 1 B. Only 2 C. All 3 D. None The answer is B. It is named after the Latin Taurus meaning bull or ox, as it was first isolated from ox bile in 1827 by German scientists Friedrich Tiedemann and Leopold Gmelin. It was discovered in human bile in 1846 by Edmund Ronalds. It is a major constituent of bile and can be found in the large intestine and accounts for up to 0.1% of total human body weight. Question to Prime Minister had recently inaugurated the first-ever National Training Conclave, an effort by the government aiming to strengthen training infrastructure for civil servants across India. 1. A. Masuri B. Faridabad C. Hyderabad D. New Delhi The answer is D. Question 3. Consider the following statements about the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India, IBB. 1. It is the regulator for overseeing insolvency proceedings and entities like Insolvency Professional Agencies, IPA, Insolvency Professionals, IP, and Information Utilities, IU, in India. To the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code, IBC, 2016 was enacted with the primary objective of time-bound resolution and maximization of value of assets. 3. It covers individuals, companies, limited liability partnerships, and partnership firms. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is C. It was established on 1st October 2016 and given statutory powers through the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code, which was passed by Lok Sabha on 5th May 2016. It covers individuals, companies, limited liability partnerships, and partnership firms. The new code will speed up the resolution process for stressed assets in the country. It attempts to simplify the process of insolvency and bankruptcy proceedings. It handles the cases using two tribunals like NCLT, National Company Law Tribunal, and the Debt Recovery Tribunal. IBB will have 10 members, including representatives from the Ministries of Finance, Law and Corporate Affairs, and the Reserve Bank of India. Question 4 with reference to Captagon pills, consider the following statements. 1. Captagon is a highly addictive amphetamine type drug. 2. This is produced mainly in Mexico and widely smuggled across West Asia. 3. The original Captagon contained phentiline, a synthetic drug of the phenethylamine family to which amphetamine also belongs. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is B. This is produced mainly in Syria and widely smuggled across West Asia. The currently prominently used Captagon is actually a counterfeit version of a medicine with the same brand name which was first produced in the 1960s by the German company Degusa Pharmagra. They were manufactured to help treat attention deficit disorders, narcolepsy, and other conditions. It was commercially sold in several countries until the 1980s and was banned due to fears of its highly addictive nature. Question 5. What do amphetamine-based drugs do? 
One, it stimulates the central nervous system, providing a boost of energy, enhancing someone's focus, letting someone stay awake for longer periods of time, and producing a feeling of euphoria. Two, these drugs usually stay in the blood for around six hours. Three, a m person consuming any amphetamine-based drug might feel some sort of placebo effect, though, which could lead to erratic behaviors. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is B. These drugs usually stay in the blood for around 36 hours. Question six: Consider the following statements about United Nations World Food Program. One, it is the world's largest humanitarian organization and the leading provider of school meals. Two, founded in 1961, WFP is headquartered in Geneva. Three, the World Food Program was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2022. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is A. It is also a major provider of direct cash assistance and medical supplies and provides passenger services for humanitarian workers. WFP is an executive member of the United Nations Sustainable Development Group, a consortium of UN entities that aims to fulfill the 17 Sustainable Development Goals (SDG) with a priority on achieving SDG 2 for zero hunger by 2030. The World Food Programme was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2020 for its efforts to provide food assistance in areas of conflict and to prevent the use of food as a weapon of war and conflict. Founded in 1961, WFP is headquartered in Rome. Question 7 with reference to the nutrient-based subsidy NBS, regime, consider the following statements. 1. Fixing a product-specific subsidy, which was as against the earlier per kg subsidy for each fertilizer nutrient regime. 2. NBS was expected to induce product innovation, besides more use of complex fertilizers, having lower concentrations of N, P, K, and S in different proportions, and SSP, containing only 16% P but also 11% S. 3. Linking subsidy to nutrient content was intended to promote balanced fertilization by discouraging farmers from applying too much urea, the ammonium phosphate, DAP, and muriate of potash, MO. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is B. Under NBS, the government fixed a per kg subsidy for each fertilizer nutrient nitrogen, N, phosphorus, P, potash, K, and sulfur, S, which was as against the earlier product specific subsidy regime. Question 8 Consider the following statements about protosterol biota recently in news. 1. The microscopic organism. 2. Belongs to the family of organisms called eukaryotes. 3. They have a complex structure combining mitochondria, known as the powerhouse of the cell, and a nucleus that acts as the control and information center. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is C. Eukaryotes are still found on Earth in the form of fungi, plants, animals, and single-celled organisms such as amoebae. Researchers said that humans and all other nucleated creatures can trace their ancestral lineage back to the last eukaryotic common ancestor, LECA, about 1.2 billion years ago. Since modern eukaryotes are extremely powerful, it was believed that they should have conquered the ancient oceans on Earth more than a billion years ago and scientists have long searched for the fossilized evidence of these early eukaryotes, but their physical remains are extremely scarce. 
Thank you everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.